We had all hands on deck with our entire district staff and our and our high school staff. The Central Valley School District currently has two school resource officers. They're stationed at specific schools in the area to help enforce school safety rules. But some situations can call them to other areas within the district. During the Central Valley shooting threat, security demands were heightened. If we had another set of hands there directing traffic, um, directing those parents to and, and keeping our students and parents and staff safe, that would, certainly would be a help. So district leaders are allotting about $100,000 from the proposed $11.8 million levy for a new security resource officer position. That includes the officer's salary and equipment for one school year. We are growing school district. We grow about 300 students a year. We've grown 2,000 students over the last couple of years. And so it's important for us to make sure that we're keeping up with the, uh, the number of students that we have with our security. If approved to fund the levy, voters would pay $1 for every $1,000 of the value of their homes. Now, if you're wondering where the rest of the levy funding would go outside of that $100,000, the district is also hoping to strengthen its special education programs, update classroom technology, and add extracurricular activities. Nunberg says this officer position ranks high on the district's list of priorities. If the levy doesn't pass, she says they'll consider pulling funding from other areas of the district's budget to fund this position. We just have to look at the priority, keeping in mind uh, our student's best interest and also the safety and security of our students and staff. That was Shana Waltower reporting. The levy, by the way, going up for vote during the special election, which is on February 11th.